So let's head across the street, figuratively at least, to a diner that much like Collins Street Bakery has been serving Corsicanons for over a hundred years. As you can tell, this was the city's old soda fountain known as Hashup's Drugstore. And while they still serve some classic dishes, chef and owner Andres Kotsifos is adding his own spin. That hummus is amazing. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> okay, so I don't quite recognize the accent. Is that East Corsicana? Or is that Northeast Corsicana? That's from? South Greece. It's South. <laughs> Andreas grew up on the island of Crete and then went on to work in France, Italy, Spain, and now Corsicana. How did you end up across well, the street? It's a long story. I learned to go along because everything that happens, happens for a reason. So sure. it was right the time that this town started to revitalize and a bistro and diner here became a huge uh, destination point. Historic downtowns need a catalyst to get people excited again, Exactly. right? Andreas is an incredible, forward-thinking chef, even owning a nicer steakhouse next door. Ah, but he still appreciates the history that comes with this little corner building, like being the first place Wolf Brand Chili was ever sold by a 12-year-old boy and his dog. So do y'all sell Wolf Brand Chili? Yes, we do. Okay. We sell a lot of it. Do you really? Yes. <laughs> Does that pain you as a, you know, a trained chef to be selling chili out of a can? Well, not really, but you know, that's different because yeah. that's, that has to do with history, and so it doesn't bother me. Okay. I have a few items that I follow the original recipe that the Hassab's family was very nice to give me, uh -huh. like the Hassab's beef, the Hassab's grilled cheese, the potato salad, okay. and I make them myself. I okay. don't let anybody else touch it because it has to be, it has to be you know, dead on. Good. A chef's precision even with historic recipes. And a Hashup's beef sandwich and some potato salad sounds great, but of course, as an appetizer. Say friend, when's the last time you had yourself a big steaming bowl of Wolf Brand chili? Well, that's too long. It's a steaming bowl of Texas. What do I need to say? It's Wolf Brand chili. It's delicious. Dive into this thing. I'm a big fan of like historic recipes, so I'm super excited to try this one. That's good. It hits all the spots. Toasted white bread, beef, mayo. It's the kind of thing I like to imagine my grandpa coming downtown to go to the, you know, the feed store and then walking in here to get himself a beef sandwich. Like a throwback, but still delicious. Potato salad. Ooh, that's good. Those are pimentos. So they add a little bit of pepperiness to it. 100-year-old recipe on the sandwich, potato salad, and the chili. This is what Texas tradition tastes like, and it tastes good, really good. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.